Hello there, it's Alana Taki, and I just wanted to give you a quick video for how to submit your assignment to your professor. Now, you might be asked to email it to your professor, or you might be asked to submit it to my math lab. So let me go through submission with my math lab first. So if you're in my math lab, course home, you're used to going to the homework button, that's where you do your homework. If you scroll down here, you'll see a button titled Course Tools. So you want to click on that course tools and a whole bunch of other stuff is going to show up. Actually for you guys only a few things are going to show up. And then you want to click on document sharing. And then in there you're going to have a generic category. You can see that's where um, I'm currently at. That's why the little arrows next to it. And in there I have you know just a formula sheet, the table sheet. Those can help you when you make your formula sheets for your exams. Hint, hint. Um, your instructor might post other things in there. And hopefully they have a few different items here. So the chapter 2 Excel assignment, if you click on that, you can see there's the data set that um, you can use to copy and paste into your Excel spreadsheet. So if you click on that, you can download it, and then it would be available to you um, to use, so that way you don't have to type all the data for all the videos. And then there's the assignment sheet itself, so if you lose yours, there you go. Although this is just a generic one, so your instructor might have done a few things, so you'll have to make sure. And then what you want to do is you want to click Uplo Upload Document, and you only want it to be available to your instructor, not the entire class. That would be breaking all the rules. All right, and then you click Choose File, and then you go find wherever that particular assignment is. You know, I don't actually have it right on here, but then you would click it, and you would say Upload. And then you can say, Okay, hi, you know, this is my, um, you know, James Smith's um, Chapter Two Excel. Or you could say, Jane Smith's Chapter 2 assignment. Or you could say, hi, Professor. You're awesome. Everybody likes a little something. <laughs> Whatever you like. <laughs> so probably your name would be best, but you know. There we go. So your name, I just made up a name, Jane Doe, Jan, you know, Jane Smith, John Smith, whatever your name is, put it in there. Then you want to add your entry, and there you go. And you can see it's available only to the instructor, and the instructor can download it and grade it from there. If now, if you have to email it, every email program is a little bit different. So you want to be careful. Um, I'm going to show you in my Gmail. Hold on, let me bring that up. Actually, first I'm going to show you my Outlook program. So I would be emailing my instructor. So, you know, instructor at jccmi.edu, whatever that instructor is. You can say, you know, Jane Smith's Chapter 2 Excel. Especially if you're emailing from a non-JCC email, it really helps to put your name somewhere. Because if you're using a non-JCC email, sometimes we have no idea who you are. Then you click Attach. And then you go find the project or the, the chapter two Excel or whatever, and then you can click send. Right? So you want to look for a paperclip. So a paperclip is the standard notation for an attachment. Alright, let me pull up my Gmail and see how that looks. Hold on one sec. So here I am in Gmail. I clicked compose right there. So I clicked compose and this message kind of came up and I made it bigger so you would take up more of the screen. And then again I'd be instructor at jccmi.edu, you know, your instructor's email address, whatever that is. And again, make sure, especially if you're emailing from a non-JCC email, you know, put your name in there. So I don't know who this Jane Smith person is, but <laughs> she's getting a lot of stuff done today. And then you can say, hi there, you know, etc. But you want to look for a paper clip. It'll be somewhere. Oops, stay. Oh, I lost my connection. Hold on. All right, I don't know why it's doing that, but you would click on the little paper clip. So if you're in Yahoo Mail, Hotmail, Gmail, you want to look for a paper clip. And that's going to have an attachment option. You'll say, you know, I want to submit this file. You wait for it to finish uploading, and then you send it. Although I'm not going to send this because there's nobody that this is. So, all right, I hope that helps. See you, bye.